guys, welcome to the DMX show. I'm your host Shane, and today I'm going to show you guys how to update your Clockwork Mod recover, Recovery manually for the Asus Transformer Prime. Uh, if you've tried to update it via ROM Manager, you know that you've had probably had some issues. I just tried to do that, it didn't work for me. Uh, the reason why you need to update it is on some of the ROMs, such as AOKP, CM9, some people have been... Uh, incurring some problems such as boot looping, uh, not able to boot into the ROM, and it's due to the outdated Clockwork Mod recovery. I guess there have been some issues with that. And also, the backup speeds were very slow, and the main problem is people were having issues going from a custom ROM to their backup ROM, uh, so this should alleviate all of those problems. So what you want to do is head to the link in the description and download the new Clockwork Mod recovery. It's 5.8.2.0. And uh, go ahead and unzip that onto your desktop computer, and you're going to need to uh, boot up into the bootloader mode. So just hold down volume, the volume down button, and power until you get your code here. You'll have three lines of code here in the corner. And as soon as you get that, you'll hit volume down. And then you'll hit volume down to get to the USB and volume up. You want to make sure you do that within uh, five seconds or it'll reboot the device. So now we're in fast boot. Uh, so we can go ahead and plug up our USB. Go ahead and plug in our USB cable. And from here, uh, we'll need to open a command prompt where we unzip that file, so we'll go shift, right click, open command window here, and uh, go ADB devices, just to make sure you are connected. If you see anything here, then that should be the Transformer Prime. If not, you'll need to, let's see, it didn't give me, for some reason it didn't give me a list of devices attached. Hmm, try that again, ADB devices. And it didn't give me anything. Hmm. Well, we'll try it anyways. Uh, let's see. Go to go to droidmoderx.com/prime or the link in the description. And we'll go to this recovery and copy and paste the command line which is right here. So this fast boot, just copy that and paste that here. And hit enter and it's sending the recovery now. So I guess it did have communication for some reason it just wasn't showing up. Uh, so now we're in, uh, we have a recovery flashed and you'll see it gave us a progress bar there. Uh, let me get that a little clearer there. It gave us a progress bar there. So now we just want to go ahead and boot into recovery. So we'll unplug our device. We'll hold volume down and power until we get those lines of code again. And then we'll just hit volume up. So it's going to boot back up. And as soon as we get it, uh, okay, so now we're just going to press up and that should boot us into recovery. So if we have 5.8.2.0, then it did what it was supposed to do. Let's see here. Yep, if you can see that guys, 5.8.2.0. And so now we have the most current version of Clockwork Mod Recovery. And it's very simple, very easy. That's how you do it, guys. So you can check me out at droidmoderx.com for all the latest in news, ROMs, mods, and hacks for your Android device. Follow me on Twitter at droidmoderx with an E out of 3. And uh, be sure you do follow that account because I'm going to start doing some giveaways on a pretty regular basis. Subscribe to this channel. This is where I will be announcing my giveaways. And uh, be sure to click the thumbs up button because that does help me out a lot. Uh, thanks, guys, for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.